to hear this one. That's mitral regurgitation. It is not. Oh, this is the sound of aortic stenosis. But don't worry, mitral regurgitation versus aortic stenosis trips people up all the time. I'm going to teach you how to never forget it in your exams, but I want you to tell me in the comments below how you would make this murmur of aortic stenosis louder. You can follow along on page 40 of my new guide to never forget cardiology. Comment the word sneak peek and I'll send you a free page. Both aortic stenosis and mitral regurgitation are left-sided systolic murmurs. They happen when the heart's squeezing. Let's listen to mitral regurgitation. It sounds like this. Mitral regurgitation is pan-systolic, so it lasts the whole of the systolic phase. And it sounds like a low-grade rumbling. It's heard loudest in the fifth intercostal space, mid-clavicular line. You can make it louder by rolling your patient onto the left side and it can radiate into the axilla. However, this is the sound of aortic stenosis. In this condition, the aortic valve becomes crusty. This murmur has a crescendo-descendo quality. It gets louder and then quieter. It sounds like this. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Okay, so tell me in the comments how you make the sound of aortic stenosis louder. There's another patient down in the emergency department with a high yield condition. You're going to have to follow me if you want to see them.